What do you guys think about a fight between Mikhail Soro and Israel Madrimov? Because as you guys can tell by the title, the WBA, the World Boxing Association, has decided to order this fight to determine who will be the mandatory challenger for the WBA title at 154 pounds. Now before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video. It helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So um, yeah, like I was saying, the WBA ordered this fight um, according to ba uh, Bad Left Hope. As you guys can tell by the uh, headline, WBA schedules Spurs bid for Mikel Soto versus Israel Madrimov Eliminator. And um, yeah, they, they have until the 20th. Of September which is coming up pretty soon I didn't know they ordered this fight but yeah that 20th is coming up pretty soon so they have to agree on something and uh, the winner of this fight I guess will fight the winner of the rematch between Castaño and uh, Charlo so um so yeah, it's a good fight too by the way if you guys don't know who Mikel Soto is he is a uh, fighter from France 35 wins two losses one draw 24 wins coming by way of knockout or TKO he is wow wow he hasn't fought since 2019 that's interesting i didn't know that oh uh, maybe because of covid i don't know but he hasn't fought since november of 2019 it's been almost two years now since he last fought and now here he is still ranked number one by the way he's ranked number one under the wba he's the gold champion for the wba so so yeah <laughs> he's number one and israel madrimov is number two so it's the top two guys going at it to see who will be the challenger for the uh, WBA title, which Charlo currently holds. To those who don't know who Israel Madrimov is, he's a 26-year-old fighter from Uzbekistan with a record of 7 wins, 0 losses, 5 wins come by way of Nakar TKO. You've probably seen him in the undercard of events. Um, he's coming off a win against Imani Colombo back in April of this year. Uh, good win. Gabe Colombo his first loss. Uh, Madrimo, to my understanding, is a former Olympian. I think he's a medalist too. Let me double check real quick. Um, was he an Olympian? I know he, it says here that he competed in multiple uh, championships, Asian Games, but I, I don't think he actually is an Olympian. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, it looks like he competed in multiple Asian championship tournaments, but yeah. Uh, Disregard what I said earlier about him being an Olympian. It seems like I was wrong on that. But I got to say, man, Uzbekistan, they're, they're, the boxing program in Uzbekistan has been doing pretty well, man. There's a lot of boxers from Uzbekistan lately doing pretty well. And uh, Madrimov is one of them. So, you know, it'll be interesting to see if this fight does happen. It'll be interesting to see how it will play out. I'd love to see it. I think it's a very good fight. I hope they get something going. If not... Go to a purse bid, the highest bidder gets the right to promote this fight and hopefully they make it happen in the future to determine who will have the right to fight for that WBA strap in the future. So, let me know what you guys think, let me know your thoughts and comments. What do you guys think about this fight? Good, bad, horrible, love it, hate it, let me know. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching, like always, have a great day. Alright, thanks.